Hello and welcome back to Not A Proper Classic. Today we're going to have a look at replacing the aerial boot. Um, you can see all the gummy stuff on there. Uh, ben at the body shop who did what a, way, a fantastic job on oh my arches. Look at those. Rust free. New paint. It's fantastic. But uh, he said that's been netting in water. It's so needs replacing. There's a the replacement. The inner and outer parts. So um, yeah, let's give it a go and see how hard it is to replace. I'm hoping it'll be a five minute job. <clears throat> yeah, likely. Well, uh, yeah, that wasn't doing very well, was it? Okay. So we've got the top bit off. I will give, uh, that a little bit of a clean, that a little bit of a clean. I think we have to go from inside to get the bottom bit off and come in from down there. Excuse the uh, folder bike in there. If we pull back the cover, I think, if what I watched before earlier was fine, there's a cross head screw there, which keeps the um, antenna in and then it's down and out from there. So uh, give me a minute and I'll give that a go. I think it's a flathead screwdriver. Flathead screw. Um, excuse the shaky camera work, but I believe it's. There we go. No, it was nearly there. Yeah, I think it's undo this, and then you should be able to remove the antenna and then the rest of the boot. So um, it might need two hands. That was very good camera work there. I might need two hands, so um, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, that screw's loose. Let's just hold the antenna just in case, because it will probably fall out. No, I don't want to try and, don't really want to lose anything. I mean, at least it'll be in the car. This is good to know because I'll probably be coming back here because the aerial doesn't actually go up or down, it's stuck up. So, um, yeah, be nice to have one working. Okay, that's out. Aerial. Okay, it's moving down. So let's manually push it down. We're moving. Have I got enough to get it out of the way yet? Yeah, there we go. It's out. Oh, that's, um, yeah, that's covered in a lot of grease or something. Okay. That's the other side. Just to see, and there's the other end. Yeah, there's a lot of silicon or something on there, which is not very nice. So there's my new one, nice and clean. And at that angle. So you can't see much from inside. So on the outside, there you go, you can see the new one in. There is a, a little lip I need to get located in place, so um give me two hands and I'll be back with you once I've hopefully got it in. So, finally got it in, make sure it's at an angle. It was quite a faff to get in there, but I soaked it in hot water and used a trim tool. It seems to be in there. There'll be a top bit going over the top, so it's fine. But now, let's try and reconnect in here. Can I pop you anywhere so you can see? Hey, does that work? Oh, no. So, what we're gonna do is put the aerial back up and through, reconnect the screw in there, but um, I'll cut back in in a minute. Right. 
Probably see it in there. Where is it? Where am I? Uh, so that's finally back in, it's lined up. That's what it looks like from the outside. So I'll screw this back up and hopefully just be able to piece everything back together and go from there. So let's see. Aerial's up, so I'll just put the top boot on now. Tip if you're doing this yourself, you see that kind of bit on there that should come up through the top of the, uh, I don't know, the grommet, the rubber, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully now I can get all clipped back together and um, be done. But let's see, let's put you down here, can you see that? Will it not fall over? Here we go. I don't know how much that you saw, but there you go. One new, hopefully waterproof gasket. I'll just give that a little quick wipe down and put that back in. But uh, yeah, one radio rubber grommet done. So um, yeah, please like, comment and subscribe. Tell me if you've had the similar sort of trouble yourself on your 124s, 190s, any other Mercs that have this kind of setup. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.